All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are at uh, Boutique at the Rink. So this is like this big, I think it's like a five day event maybe, um, that they hold in the ice skating rink here in Bethlehem. And today is half off day. So this is the third day they've been running it. First day you have to pay an entry fee and everything is full price. Second day there's no entry fee, but everything is still full price. And today is no entry fee and it is the first half off day. This is the day that I come and shop. Uh, uh, you know, things can be a little pricey here. So first day for me is just no. Um, first day I feel like is more for people who are either collectors or are really looking for a certain thing and don't mind paying up for it. Um, basically not resellers. So anyhow, we're going to go get in line. It opens in about 35 minutes um, and we'll see what we can find here today. This is my second sale of the morning. Uh, I was just at a rummage sale that's in a previous video, but uh, yeah, let's go check this out and see how we do this year. I usually come out with a few bags, so let's see. Look at that line down there. Holy moly. Get some moss down there in my five bucks. Excuse me. I'm going to check the hard goods before I check anything else. Hmm. These Dresden lace pieces are nice. That one had a hole in it though. Ooh, that one's 40. We're going to pass on that. Okay. Oh, oh, how I love the glass. However, do I want to fill my cart with breakables right now? Oops, oops, making, making some noise here myself. Mm, some very nice pieces. The milk glass I tend to avoid. And we have down here collector plates. It's kind of cute. Unesco. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting stuck on your wheel Everybody there. Everybody does that. That's okay. Sorry about that. That's okay. Lots of brass over here. Oh, go ahead. So much to look at, and this place is going to get super crowded. I saw that line. Lots of little hummels, teapots galore. Sixteen dollars. It's kind of nice, but that would definitely get broken in my cart. Trying to switch back and forth in between the aisles here. Look at this bell. It's very nice. I don't tend to pick up bells, but that one caught my eye. A 
some of those have chips. over here. That's nice, but even at $20 is too much. Oops. This should go down that aisle, but I'm going to pop over here and check out check out the craft kits. Sure, most of them are picked through. Some of these old sampler charts can do really well. So, I think I'm going to grab that one. Oh, I like these Mill Hills too. They'll be a dollar a piece. I bought a whole bunch of those at the flea market. I believe like a year ago and they have been consistent sellers for me oh this is a nice um tree skirt but it is open so i think i might pass on that that might be a mistake though i just hate when they're open you don't know if everything is in there Most of these are open or just kind of undesirable. Saturday evening post. What are these? Certified International. Spode. Their wine glasses. Yeah. Eh, I'm gonna pass on those, I think. That's a nice, um, Wizard of Oz piece. If it works, it'll be three bucks. I don't really want to spend time opening this, but I'm going to. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it in my cart and I'm going to check it later. There's some cloth teak Santas up here. Uh, let's see what they're marked. Six dollars, so they'll be three bucks. Not the, not always great. Some of the older ones, but oh, that one's musical. That one's marked eight, but the box is marked six. Hmm. All right, let's keep moving. These are the men's. Men's shoes. Barney's New York. So they'll be seven dollars. Tom's. Be five. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. It'd be six bucks. These are very interesting. I'm gonna put these in my cart. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Some of these are women's. I think they have them in the wrong section. Dingo, they're very worn. Oops. <laughs> Flying shoes. Yeah. Vince. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna head they over to the women's. To the women's yes. shoes. So, all right, I will do my best. Okay. Goodness, they have so many shoes. It's very loud in this section, so I have to do a little voiceover here. So I'm grabbing these pair of Clarks. They remind me of Fly London. So scoop them up. Next, I spy a pair of Eileen Fisher right off the bat. And uh, just to let you know, all of these shoes are mostly $10 and they're half price today, so that makes them five. Some are a little bit cheaper. Um, there are a pair or two more expensive. These are like Lady Kingsley made in Italy. They're missing the heels, so I put those back. Uh, as soon as I turn around, I spy another pair of Eileen Fisher. These are like a block sandal. So these are getting slam dunked into my cart. <laughs> All right, as soon as I get back in the aisle, I find another pair of Eileen Fisher. These are like a lace up flat. I really like the style of those. Uh, I'm kind of starting to worry about my cart being so far away at this point because I'm filling it up with some good shoes and leaving it unattended. <laughs> So last minute, I do bend down and grab uh, this pair of Rikas, which can be hit or miss, but I like the style of these, so we're going to take them. Alrighty, still finding a lot of good shoes. So this is a pair of Skechers Bobs, which I don't always pick up, but since they're new with tags, I grab them. Here's a nice sparkly pair of Fit Flops in pretty darn good condition, so they're going in the cart. Uh, this is a pair of Cole Haan. They can be hit or miss, but I don't know, something about that pair I really liked. This was a pair of Fry, and it doesn't look like it on camera, but they were kind of beat up. I think I still should have probably gotten them, but I left them there. So then over here, I find a pair of Merrells. They're almost like barefoot kind, but uh, I, I'm not sure if they'd be considered that, but they are like a very thin sole. So they go in the cart too. Look at how full this cart is getting. All right, so next I found this pair of SAS San Antonio Shoemakers. These are super small. I actually still didn't even check the size on those. They're very small, but I decided to grab those. They also look like a wide width. Down here we have a pair of Skechers, like wedge heel sandals, but they were pretty worn, so I put those back. So I feel like I missed a little aisle, so I decide to back my cart up. I'm glad I did. I found a pair of Naot or Naot. I always forget how to say that. But anyway, those are in excellent condition. So they were a super good pickup. Now we're going to head over and check out the boots. I did grab a couple more pair of shoes off camera. So right off the bat, I find a pair of Keens. The soles look pretty darn good. The uppers look like they have a little bit more wear than the soles, which is kind of unusual. But um, yeah, overall, they look pretty good. So I am going to grab them. Just did a little bend test on them. <laughs> boots I'm being a little more selective with. Boots are $15, so half off, so they're going to be $7.50. Uh, and honestly, I'm not seeing a whole lot that are jumping out at me anyway. Uh, I do grab these Lucky Brand boots. Uh, soles look a little bit worn, but they also, the factory naturally kind of like distresses them. So, well, not naturally, but you know. But anyway, I just love the rose embroidery on these. So they are coming with me. Hey, Molly, now we're over here in the clothing section. We got the Christmas sweater stuff. Oh, this is Bob Mackie, but I kind of love these cats. Look at these cats. 
How much is this jacket? $20? So it would be 10? Someone needs this though. Someone needs this. I'm getting it. Mm. Oh, look at the pug. Morning like shoppers, thank you for coming out today. A quick reminder, uh, it seems some people didn't realize that today is half price day. So everything you see is half price. When you bring it into the cashews, they will total up your purchase and then take 50% off that total. So thank you for coming out and shop Excuse away. Me. There's lots Sorry. of great nope, you're fine. there. This is $11. People do like buying this. Stuff. And this is in very good condition, this, this sweater. I think I'm gonna get it. I, I didn't get a chance to get down this aisle. Oh. Lots of Wilton pans down there. I used to grab a lot of those when I first started selling years and years and years ago. But I no longer pick those up. I don't even know if they sell anymore. Ooh, some of these... Some of those do okay over there. Midwest. I missed this Christmas aisle when I first went down. Jim Shore. Oh, it's a little bell. Bell ornament. I'm just gonna look at those, but I think she's taking them all. This Thomas Kincaid. It sounds like they're all loose in here. They are. And different kinds of bag fabric ornaments. <laughs> Check out those glasses. <laughs> These look really nice. Etched. It's like pressed glass with an etching. Hmm, decent amount of weight to them. Very nice, but I am going to pass on those. have all the packaging but that's a nice Santa I'm gonna get that for it'll be six bucks I'll get that one there's some stuff outside I didn't see excuse me I didn't check this section out. Mm. Those are those Polonese, or no, Thomas Piconi. I've sold those, I'm still selling those. I have a box that I parted out. It's like a nutcracker. He's actually really cool. I'm gonna get him. 
think he's like a like a Western. He's got like a saddle on his arm. I think he'll be like 350. Unbranded, but I don't think that's gonna matter. I can't believe how much stuff I have in this car, and I have so much of the warehouse right now. Okay, this tree is kind of cool. Midwest. There's another box with its contents. Museum Thomas. It's more Thomas Pony. I just don't want to mess with those. Considering I still have some and they've taken a while. Oh, for some reason, I don't think I made it down this aisle. Did I? No, I must have skipped this aisle. Let's see if I see any like Royal Albert. Yeah, life is short. We should all be drinking out of these kind of Kind of a nice teapot. It's unmarked. This is really cool. Made in Italy. It's all chipped up. That is such a shame. And this is like the tea for one. Oh <laughs> yeah, and if it breaks the bread, right? It'd be five dollars. I think I'm gonna get that. The cart is full. What do we have here? Danbury mint. Can't see what else it says. Ukagawa? <laughs> it's a fantasy. It's a see these angels. Oh, these are Gobo. I do remember seeing those on the other side. I used to. I got away from Glassware, glassware. <laughs> I do. I do remember skipping this aisle. Winston Thomas bubble bar hair. Heavyweight. They'll be six bucks, which is kind of what they were sold for at Home Goods a long time ago. I like those bubble glasses, though. loud in here now. I think they turned the music off. I'm not going to get those glasses. This is some kind of DMR glass. Oh, they're made in Turkey. Maybe four dollars. I think I'm gonna leave those, even though I really do kind of want to pick them up. here across the way that is cute it's chipped unfortunately Your salt and pepper shakers 36 bucks for that set I wonder if it's a complete set because I did sell the complete set for about a hundred hmm 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24. I think that is complete. And it comes with that. So 36, so that'll be $18. Uh, no, I don't want to mess with it. I do kind of want to mess with it, but I don't want to mess with it. So I'm going to leave it. Pampered Chef, 50 bucks. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Ew. I don't know what is in that teacup. Queens, St. Nicholas. It's nice. Nice baking dish here. Oh, Nantucket. Baking soda. Some large holes. Food for Santa's reindeer. Louisville stoneware. I've seen that somewhere recently, too. Not the reindeer one, but the Louisville. That is cute. Alright. I should really get out of here now. I said that like a while ago and I never did. I know the lines to check out are going to be incredibly long. Alright guys, so I just realized I never filmed the outro for the video. So we're going to do it now. Uh, my dogs are being a little rambunctious, so I decided to come out here, but it's quite hazy because uh, we have all the smoke coming down from the Canadian wildfire, so uh, going to make this quick. Anyway, I spent $139 in total for everything in that cart, a full cartload, so that was pretty amazing. I had a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.